What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be going over 10 tips on how you can start your own clothing line today. What is up guys? Charlie here with Char Media. Today I just want to go over 10 tips on how you guys can start your own clothing line off right. A lot of people start a clothing line but they don't really know how to run a clothing line or even um, start it off correctly because there is such thing as starting a clothing line off and you're doing it all wrong and it can lead to the destruction of the clothing line very early. Um, so I'm here to give you guys those 10 tips and hopefully they help you guys out. Just a little background about myself. I actually own two different clothing lines. I own one called Vessel Craft Co and one called Strange Hearts. I made a lot of mistakes and um, through those mistakes I learned a lot of different things and I think they helped me out. So, um, you know, I do plan on starting another clothing line using those tips that I'm going to be showing you guys today. So, um, basically, basically you guys are learning off of my bad judgment and my mistakes. And it's a good thing because now you guys can do it successfully and, and start it off right. Tip number one, don't rush. Brainstorm before you start. If you guys don't know what you're starting, then how are you going to start it successfully? Know what brand you want to start. Think about the background of the brand. What's the brand all about? What's the name? Come up with ideas. Write it on a piece of paper. Don't just rush it because it's going to lead, like I said, to the, the um, destruction of the brand and that's never a good thing. So just brainstorm and think about what you're going to do before you actually start doing it. Tip number two. Start online guys. Don't worry about starting your own storefront. A lot of people want to just start a storefront because it sounds cool and they get this loan and they try to do it but then they kind of learn quickly that nobody knows about their brand so nobody wants to buy their brand. So I would definitely recommend starting off um, with just an online e-commerce site. It's the easiest way to do it and you can put all your clothing on there and people can buy it straight from online and um, you don't have to worry about the huge uh, overhead that you have opening up your own building. Online, you know, you can run an e-commerce site for dollars a month, so it's really not that hard and um, I, I would definitely recommend that starting out. Um, tip number three, do some research, guys. Research what you're going to be, what your audience is going to be, uh, research, uh, you know, research where you're going to print, research uh, what kind of clothing you're going to print on, what styles are you going to print on? Is it going to be cheap fab fabric to start off? Is, are you going to start off with more expensive fabric? Um, that's all things that need to be considered guys because you're not going to have a successful clothing line if you don't even know what material you're going to be printing on. You have to know about the, the, the brand completely first before you start it. So um, if, if, to give you guys an example, when I first started off, I started off printing on really heavy, basically ugly shirts that when you washed them once the ink would look kind of weird and the, the material itself would wash weird and it would always be wrinkled when you wear it and it was just really ugly and um, I learned quickly that I should have done more research before printing on those particular shirts and I quickly learned that there was other material out there that was just as cheap that uh, looked better. All right guys, tip number four, be financially prepared. A lot of people just want to start printing and um, you know they're not really sure what they're printing so they're just blowing all this money and it's not really all about just what you're printing it's it's about what's going to make you uh, what's going to be the best thing to print first so um be, being financially prepared it goes into a lot of different um you know it goes into a lot of different things but what i really mean by that is if you're gonna if you're gonna run a clothing line be financially prepared for what you want to do and that goes back to brainstorming and researching. After you're done researching what print shops you want to uh, print through, the material you want to use and the, the overhead cost and everything like that and then you find out how to get the name situated, um, basically know that you can afford all that before you do it and that's really what it comes down to. So. Um, uh, uh, there's going to be a tip coming up that's going to run into that a little bit more but basically if you're going to start um, posting online about the brand, be prepared to print the brand or else people are not going to take you seriously. Tip number five. So tip number five is basically quality versus quantity. You want to print quality guys. You don't want to print quantity because if you're printing quantity that just means you're blowing a bunch of money and if the quality is not there then nobody's going to want it anyway. You're going to get some bad reviews and it's going to be all downhill from there. So what I recommend doing is printing quality before you print quantity. Know what you're going to be printing. Um, know the quality of what you're printing and get some feedback before you just print a bunch of them because it's just going to be a, a, a waste of time at the end. All right guys, tip number six, know your profit margins and total cost. So what this really means is um, you, want, you want to know what your shirts are going to actually cost. So that goes into the research you're going to be doing at the beginning. So if you're going to be looking into print shops and you know that they charge you $6 a shirt, 
price your shirts off that cost. I mean, if it's $6 a shirt, think about what you need to be charging to make up your overhead. I mean, if you have to pay for the online website, you have to, uh, you have to pay for the packaging, uh, labeling and everything like that. Think about all those costs and put that into your, your main price because at the, at the end, if you're not charging enough for your shirts, you're not gonna make that money back and you're basically running a business that's free. You don't want that. You wanna be able to put the money back in the business and um, run a successful business with some profit left over so you can put it back into the business. Tip number seven, be social. Build some hype up, guys. So, you know, being social goes into a lot of different aspects. It's not literally just online social media stuff. That's not what I mean. You can literally be social just by passing out business cards at your local bar or wherever you guys hang out. Go to, if you're in high school, for instance, go pass out some cards saying, here, check out my brand. You know, I have a shirt on right now. Maybe you're wearing a shirt that day. Show them what the shirt looks like and let them feel the fabric. Um, build some hype on that brand and let them know a little story behind the brand if you developed one and tell them the name. I mean, it's just marketing the brand, guys. You have to get your name out there before people wanna buy it. And um, a big place that I started on was, uh, was Instagram because Instagram is super easy. All you do is post photos and you follow people and they follow you back and they like your photos and that you can tag people. You can use hashtags to um, get found or be found on uh, Instagram. So there's a lot of different ways you can be found on Instagram and there's a lot of different ways you can market your um, brand outside of Instagram or outside of any other social media platform. So think of, think of clever ways you can market your brand and just do it. Don't think about it, just do it because I promise you, the moment you start thinking about it, it's not gonna happen, guys, and I've done that a lot. Just do it. Do it! Just do it! Get, on, get your butt off the couch and go market your brand. Socialize with people on social media websites, and I promise you, people are gonna get interested. Build that hype. All right guys, so moving on to tip number eight. Tip number eight is pre-sale. And the reason why I wanted to mention pre-sale is because it's a great way to see what kind of interest people have for your brand. So you can put a shirt up and if somebody buys it, it kind of shows you that people are interested in that particular design. And now that you're financially stable, it's a great opportunity for you to get some sales and only print what people bought. So um, you can save some money and put the money elsewhere. Tip number nine, avoid involving business partners unless you already know them, like they're your best friend or maybe your girlfriend or somebody you've known for a very long time. And the reason why I say this is because it's easy to get caught up in trying to find a business partner because they might have a little bit more money than you. I promise you, you don't really need a business partner. Worry about building the brand up first before you start involving other people. And that was my cats fighting. Okay, last but not least, tip number 10, save your profits. This is the most important tip that I can give you guys today. If you're not saving your profits off your shirt sales, you're literally killing your business super fast and that's never a good thing. You need to save the profits you make off your shirt sales and put it right back into the business because that's how the business is gonna last and grow. Um, that's all for today, guys. Those are 10 tips on how you guys can start your own clothing line successfully. I will see you guys in the next video.